Records reveal Congresswoman Ilan Omar's husband got more than $600,000 in coronavirus relief money for his political consulting firm, on top of the millions that his company received from her election campaign. Charles Payne is host of Making Money on the Fox Business Network. He joins us now. Charles, you'll have to explain this one to me. We'll put it up on the screen. This is the E Street Group receiving in total $634,000 nine hundred dollars in funds ppp a hundred and thirty four thousand of that disaster loans five hundred thousand dollars why yeah uh, you know the 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 big knock against the whole uh the whole ppp program was that uh, you know, 1% of the recipients got 25% of the money, and often they were very well-connected, very rich people or in organizations, and there's no doubt that's true. Uh, there was a sort of sense of urgency, though, to get the money out, hoping that if there were flaws, at least it would help the most under, uh, you know, the, most, the, the ones who were in the most dire need of the cash. And, and a lot of it did, uh, you know, they're going to have another chance to do it again and probably more be more tailored or more specific. But this just kind of speaks to sort of these insiders who, who, who have the ability to, to, to take advantage of these sort of things all the time. And then, of course, you know, this particular group of people, it's, it's so, so bad in the sense that, Sandra, they're always knocking everything, right? They knock everything that President Trump did. They always knock America. They always talk about how unfair everything is. And here they are feeding at the trough when other people really needed this money more desperately because they knew how to get it, so they did. Uh, that firm was also paid more than $2 million since the start of the year, Charles, uh, from Omar's campaign for digital advertising, yeah. fundraising, consulting, website production. She announced last month, I should mention, in November that her campaign was terminating its contract with that firm because of all the scrutiny that she was receiving over those payments. Yeah, but no money's going to be returned. I mean, listen, services were delivered, but this is something people were talking about, this cozy relationship long before November. She had a chance to take care of it then. She did not. It was too much money, millions of dollars. It was too much to ignore. They took it. They'll take a little bit of scrutiny. It won't be a lot. The media will not focus on it. Mm. It will go away. But the bottom line is America's distrust in the public, America's distrust in media. This is why both are in free fall. Like, comment, subscribe.